So here we get summoned for this boss fight. I've compiled these uh, attempts into into one video. So this is all the attempts and the successful attempt at this boss. The second and final boss of the network beta test. So obviously if I defeat or if we defeat the guy, if we defeat the boss it doesn't count. In my world I still have to defeat the boss. Because I'm a, a shade here. So we're going in to face this boss. The chariot boss. Executioner's chariot. You see these guys frozen here? As I said, lag was a, was a big issue in this uh, network test. I wouldn't say it was a big issue, it was an issue though. You can see it affecting fights for sure. So Tashantu got vanquished and we get hit. Oh, that's a big hit. Takes away most of my health. If I'd been fully hollow, I would have uh, lost all my health there. So we take a drink, and we're... See, we're in this cubby hole. This is where you want to hide for this fight. Look at the lag there. That's uh, very bad. And I was in the cubby hole, and I still got hit and died. So lag is a big factor in these fights. I think it was the person hosting who had the most lag because when I faced it later in my own world I had a lot less lag I could actually manage the fight a lot easier on my own I think without uh, extra players so extra players were a hindrance instead of a help because of the lag issues obviously it's a network test so we get summoned once again and they're facing off against this red guy who I killed uh, that was later on, you saw him up there, but in the previous episode I killed him, but uh, obviously these are compiled attempts. So these first two attempts were when that red guy was still up. So they killed that guy. That's in his world though, not in my world. He's the master of the world. The one that's not in white is the master of the world. The one who's not a white phantom. So we're using a life gem. Get some regen health. We get a cutscene here, so we actually get to see the cutscene of the boss. At least a bit, there's the executioner. The skeleton pulls the gate open. Here comes the chariot. Oh! See the big spikes? Crazy. This is a crazy boss fight like. So we can go in here, enter the mist. You don't want to get taken out by those big spikes, you want to hide in the cubby holes whenever you see them coming. So you just get in these little encos. Encos, is that what they call you? Out of the way of the uh, big spikes. And you have to defeat the adds also, so we get in here. Yep, just behind him. Somebody got hit with that. So you have to take out these ads. There's a necromancer who brings the skeletons back to life, I think. So there goes a necromancer. We can actually pick up items. I didn't realize that in the Master's Ward. That enemies drop. Or the Master of the Ward. So I'm gonna get hit here. Nope. I just got into the cubby hole in time. Here it comes very laggily. Not as likely as the previous fight though. Depends on the connection of the person hosting I guess. Or the stress on the network. So somebody... I got hit there and I was right in. Kind of weird. Really shouldn't have got hit there. So we're near the end here. But... Ah, there's nowhere to go. And he got vanquished. Was he the master of the world? And I got vanquished too. So that was two for one. Leaves him in his own. And I think he got hit there as well, so... It was all about that lag. So we come back... And now we summon people. We use a human effigy first to get... 
back to human form, humanity restored, so now we can actually summon people. So we can look around and see white summon signs. If you see a red summon sign, you shouldn't touch it unless you want to PvP somebody. Rich Boy Legend. So we're summoning people. You see the red signs there for PvP if you want to PvP people. So we've got two phantoms. We've got Garden, Quall and Talkir. So we're going to face off against this boss. Still haven't defeated it, so... And we get this cutscene again, but we skip it this time. You'll see there's actual items on the floor in this... Or I didn't see them before because... Only the Master of the Ward sees, sees items on the floor. Lying around the place. Get in there, get in there! Oh, I just made it. Oh, that was close. At least now I'm human form, I have more health also, so it's gonna help. So I can probably take two hits from the... Uh, Executioner's Chariot. I'd prefer it if that killed you outright, like in previous games that should kill you outright. But there's some bullshit deaths. So I'm picking up some items here. Like I was in, right into the cubby hole and I got hit still. Several times. I don't know why that happened. It could just be a positioning issue or a lag issue. Maybe the position of the boss was where I was when I was outside the the uh, end cove. So we're running up here, we're getting close, we're going into this little uh, cubby hole to get away from the spikes. Take these little ads out, they just jumped ahead of me. Big time lag issues. So we want to run in here. Ah. No, I get hit. I couldn't get in there because the two of them were fighting something. But I still didn't die, luckily, since I have a lot more health. So we're getting very close to the end, but there's nowhere to hide here. That's the worst part. There's nowhere to hide there. Once you get up to the end. So it gets harder. There's a big pit at the end here. I don't know how he avoids that. And I just fall in there, which sucked. I don't know how I ran into that. There's actually a lever which I passed, which is what you're supposed to pull to drop the gate back down and uh, stop the boss from running around. So we get this weird sign, traveling to another world to assist an apostle of the blue in distress. I don't know where that came from. Maybe it's my coven, so yet summoned uh, to assist someone who's PvPing from your covenant. Because I saw I was in the covenant of the blue maybe, in my character overview. And we'll see we're actually a blue shade here, but the person defeated the uh, friggin' the invader, obviously. And it said returning to your world, so I never got to experience life as a blue shade. There's uh, quite a few different shades you can become. You can become a red shade invading, you can become a blue shade if you're helping out someone in another world. Or if you get someone to help out a member of your covenant, maybe if they're being invaded, and you can be a white phantom if you're helping out someone with a boss as a white shade. I don't think I've ever saw a blue shade before though. So I got run over here. <laughs> Takes half my health away, just over half. I think this is the last attempt, or the successful attempt, so... You'll see. I get run over again here. And one of the guys died there. Karada G. And this guy's down to less than half health. So it looks like a failed attempt at the moment. And that guy I think dies here. Yep, Phantom R. Lucifer has been vanquished. So some use they were. But it's probably due to lag. Now it's actually much better because there's less lag because there's no other players present so you'll see the chariot's not lagging anymore so the fight actually becomes much easier because you're not having to deal with the lag issues hopefully on release it's not like this but I'm pretty sure it won't be so this is not to be taken as how the game will actually be on release it won't be this laggy I'm sure they'll have addressed these issues because that's what the network beta test was for 
to see what the problems were and address those problems when there's so much load on the server from so many players playing at once. So this is like maximum capacity. So we're doing much better now that the lag issue's gone. Since we're not really on the network. This is like a single player fight now. Which could be offline. There's a skeleton there. He's just chilling there in the in that cove. Don't know whether to call that a cove. It's like an end cove or a cubby hole I call it also. I don't like either of those words to be honest, but it's the best way I can think of to describe those. End coves. It's probably not the right word. It doesn't sound right, but it, I'm gonna get run over, there's nowhere to hide. <laughs> Did that not take any of my health? That was weird, if somehow I avoided being hit, there's some weird... Hopefully they address these hitbox issues, where I, I got hit in encoves like this, and sometimes I didn't get hit when I was out. Maybe I rolled through it, and you are invulnerable while, while you're rolling sometimes, so that makes sense. But I have been hit while rolling at the same time, so it's just weird. I'm not going to stop to pick up these items right now. I picked up a few of them, so there's a bloody necromancer. we got to defeat him before the chariot comes. No! Oh, just, just, just got that. So there's a lever around here. Luckily, we spotted the sign that indicates that. So I think we're going to hide here for the next round. Yep, it's coming very fast, so you want to go just when that passes. And then pull this lever. Don't panic! Just pull the lever, and down comes the gate, and now we wait for the boss. Turn round, I want to see it. Ah, why did I not turn round? Boom, look at that. And down goes the horse. So now we can slash attack the horse. That's all that's left. I don't know where the executioner goes. I don't see him. He was on top. Did he actually die? This horse is actually kind of tough too. So I don't want to get uh, down too low. In case he does a spaz attack where he attacks three times at once. Does some big attacks, some heavy damage too. So he's down to over half. Yes, we're going good. He's pretty agile for a big horse. Two-headed horse. Whoa, spell. Don't get hit by that. Ah, oh, I get hit. Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage. I ran right into it. I was starting to panic here, you see. This is, I was so excited about getting to this point. But I didn't want to lose. You can still sort of hide in these cubby holes to avoid certain attacks like this spell I think you can avoid in here. Seem to. Yep. You can avoid most attacks in these holes so it's good to make use, the most use of the space that you have around you. And it just dodged out of the way there, nice. Alright, I'm out of healing potions. I need to take some of these big life gems. Oh, I got stomped there. Skeletal two-headed horse. Stuff of nightmares. So I'm looking to take some more life gems, I think, here. Get my health back up to full. So good at dodging this horse, too. Ah, get off the in <laughs> friggin' inventory screen. Yeah, it took me down, big charge. Get out of there. Get behind him, yes. Behind is always the best place to be. Oh yeah! Sweet, sweet success. Did I actually wave? Victory achieved. That was an awesome fight though. Second boss fight. Very good fight. Huh, wood arrows. Very enjoyable fight. 